<laughs> that's the greatest thing that's ever been said on this show. Uh, this has got to make some sense. Do you think you get it on the ground or it ain't gonna last long? I'm a sixty-year-old raging alcoholic, motherfucker. You thought I was gonna save this, didn't you? Oh you yeah, we're we're nuts. <laughs> we're nuts. Me and the boys are nuts. You you can't control us. David Tell and Ron White. Uh, Ron White. Ron White. Ron White. Ron White is back. Ron motherfucking White. Ron, this is your first time on the show. Welcome to Kill Tony. I, was, I thought I was going to be a contestant. <laughs> uh, I got, I've got a solid uh, 60 seconds that uh, nobody's heard. I put my money on Ron right now. Go ahead. <laughs> is this a competition, Tony? Laringa. Laringa. You can bet on anything. I'm going to definitely bet on this one. Uh, what? He wasn't here? No, he wasn't here. Uh, he's, uh, you have to be present to win. Is that correct? Well, there's no winners and losers. This is like a new level of voter fraud. <laughs> it's not a competition, Rob. <laughs> but I pulled an this, this is what I thought this was going to be like. I thought it was just going to be me and you at a table, and you're going, So, Ron, tell us all about comedy. And I'm, no. Blah, 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 blah. But instead, you oh, get to some more. You get to <laughs> instead, you just get to chill and we'll just watch and Here, man. have fun. Okay. No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm totally fucking in. Put your hands together for your next comedian doing an uninterrupted. He's not going to say anything mean to anybody. They just started doing stand up. Jesus well, you, Christ. You're, no, but that's Tony's kink. Like shit, right? <laughs> that's what I get off on. I can't. Right. I, I Tony, can't. Tony's dream is to take a shit on a unicorn. That's his. <laughs> So, dude, uh, are you uh, you're an LA guy, right? Uh, no, I, uh, Texas. Oh, what part? Ron's from uh, Texas. Yeah. Uh, yeah, El Paso. Oh, there you oh. go. I Ron? think that's a uh, coach. I, for... I was just there not very long ago, and it was uh, uh, dusty, dusty. Yeah. Dusty, yeah. Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, but I, you know, my my in laws are all from Mexico, and yeah. uh, and uh, El Paso, I know, is very very close to Mexico. Yeah, hell yeah, man. You're, I, you were the first comic I ever saw live in El Paso. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty fucking dope, man. Well, I think you're going to go a long way, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like for you to taste my tequila right oh, here. Oh, fuck yeah. It's called yeah. number one wow. tequila. Wow. Look at that. Look at Salud Comedy Store. Too many more, man. Wow. There you go. You know what, Ron? Let me ask you something. Every time somebody's on for the first time, I always ask them a question. Was there ever anything you did when you very first started stand-up comedy that, like, you can't believe you did or, like, just went terribly yeah, wrong? Yeah, I did. I, I had this, uh, I had a sweatshirt made that <laughs> said Bob's Burger Gym, and it had a, a guy lifting weights and it had hamburgers on the weights. And I really... <laughs> was so convinced that that was a part, an integral part of my comedy routine, oh. that I wear it, wore it well into the summer, <laughs> and, uh, and it was in Texas, and it was hot, and then finally the other more experienced comics go, Ron, the sweatshirt. You don't even do a joke about it. Why don't you change clothes and move on to the next part of your career? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's something I remember. Wow. Do you still have that shirt, or do you have a picture of it? You should reprint those. I have That'd a be... tattoo of it on my dick. Oh. <laughs> I'll see it later, huh? <laughs> Get, bring the tequila. I didn't think I'd want to say something shitty to somebody just start doing stand-up, but I've changed my mind. That was it. Perfect. Oh, you suck, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. I think it's hard in a minute to, like, lay down a conspiracy theory, you know, without yeah. the no, yeah, help it's... of ecstasy, but... I uh, I think you should have started with the hair joke first and then gotten into your uh, big I, bit. I did the joke. I was doing it too fast, so it should, have been, it should have been a minute, but then I did it a little too quick. So I, I understand. Oh, well, you mean like, I don't know. I think if it had been slower, it would have been worse. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> that is not a good... <laughs> You know what? But let me say this in all yeah. seriousness. Yeah. Doing stand up for eight months is the same as doing it for one day. I mean, that's a brand new comedian out here with balls enough to come out here yeah. and try some different fucking humor. And uh, so I'm just busting on your chop trying to get a laugh <laughs> myself. But for eight months in the fucking business, you're out here doing punchlines, dude. So yeah. way to go. Good on you. Good on you. Oh, you're sure. definitely a crowd favorite. Can I hit that? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, you're right. It's Coffee's for closers, dude. <laughs> Do you, uh... Thank you, Ron. Nice. 
How was the show? Dreams coming true on Kill Tony 200. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, you think that's what she's going to be disappointed in? Oh. Oh. Nice one, Tony. <laughs> we, we, we met in the back, and uh, you did mention that you don't drink. Yeah. So you do this without drinking. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, it really is only one joke, but what a great fucking joke that is. Oh, it's a great you, joke. I assume you have at least more of those, right? You got to. How long can you? Got, yeah. How long can you beat them up like that? You just tore it up for fucking sixty seconds. How long can you do yeah, it? Yeah. How many of those do you think you have? Um, I I got a couple more. You want to hear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm the one that brought it up. <laughs> Why was it always that one kid in high school that was good at doing flips? It's like, I didn't learn this shit in my PE class. Where's that kid now, though? Not in the Olympics. Just waiting for a barbecue to pop off or some shit. <laughs> turns, out when, uh, turns out when Joel's asshole I... is pressed up against a leather stool. Mm. Uh, I'm happiest. Just... Hey, I, I, but can we go for just one second? Yeah. I just wanted to say something before yeah. it all got weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a show... On uh, Friday night at the Grove in Anaheim, you want to do ten minutes right there? Uh, yes. Wow! Yeah. Yes, that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like this. There's a balloon of tension that has been built up here tonight. It's weird. Weird energy. It feels like something's about to happen, right, Jeremiah? Yeah, absolutely. What's going on with this crowd? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe that's no, what you. I you felt. Maybe, anything, maybe, I knew there was fucking something in the air. I, 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 I swore, I, when you pulled you in, I could feel it. it. I you. could. You smelled it. Well, let's just get into it. You want to pull a name out of the bucket, Ron? Get this puppy started? Want to watch a comedian for 60 seconds with us? Sure. Was wow. there ever a period of time, Ron, when you started comedy where uh, you were eating ramen noodles or anything like that? Struggling? or? Yeah, man, I didn't make dick. I, uh, I, I would drive for... Uh, Eight hours to you know to make two or three hundred bucks, and uh, now you have a motherfucking jet, don't you? <laughs> you don't have to bring that up. <laughs> it's not a motherfucking jet. It's a regular <laughs> jet. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, that's true. Or maybe that's they a, maybe they thought the title of the movie was The Empire Strikes Black. Nothing again. Very what good. The fuck? Very good. This is a, <laughs> it's a sweet show tonight. Just right from the right from. You the thought end. I was gonna save this, didn't you? <laughs> I was really hoping. Hey, I saw that. the fucking tail spin from out there, and yeah. I'm the one that wandered out here with a bottle of fucking booze. Dude. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like, I don't even think there's anything I can do for this. <laughs> this has gotten away. You're the most honest person I've ever met in my life, dude. It's true. Thank you. You are fucking honest as shit. It's true. It's true. That's cool, man. You don't give a shit either. I don't know if you remember wrong, but last time you just told me I sucked last time I was on here. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. It was him? I, was, I told you you sucked. It was, I believe. I didn't say you don't suck. I said you're honest, and I could tell that. No, 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 I no. I got nothing to do it's, with the it's fact It's an upgrade. That... It's an upgrade. But last time, it was definitely you suck. It was just like that. Oh, uh, you suck, dude. <laughs> wow, well, oh, you probably really suck. It sounds like me. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was fun. I had fun. It does, but, but you seem like... A, Really, really, really fucking honest dude, man, and I like that. Definitely. That's a standing ovation. If you're watching on 360, check that out. A bottle of his company, number one Fuck tequila, yeah. which I'm not kidding, is the fucking best tequila I've ever had in my life. And he's coming in with seven empty giant rocks glasses. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get this fucking party started? Level two, upgrade. I, th I think you're adorable, and yeah. I think you just get a little smoother at it, and a little calmer, and then, you know, next thing you know, you'll be an open mic. <laughs> you will! <laughs> you will! That's not... That's what you're looking for, right? <laughs> that's the greatest thing that's ever been said on this show. 224 episodes. There she goes, Amy Gonzalez. Hey, listen, you think this is easy? You come up here with a really shitty plan and see if it works. <laughs> 
No, I mean, I'm not that... I'm, wildest I'm not thing. That then you would name I, the wildest I, thing about you. If there isn't one, you don't need to say that. You would just name the wildest thing about you. Let's, just, let's say you had a chance to become a 60-year-old man's fourth wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, you've got one. You've got a chance to become a... And I promise not to take care of myself either. I guess I'm going to smoke and drink. And <laughs> Nicole, what do you, how do you survive? How do I survive? And how do you make money? Oh, I work at Starbucks. Whoa, you do? Yeah, Damn. it fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> how long have you been doing that for? Since, like, December. Huh. How do you feel about being a 60-year-old man's fourth wife? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about it, Nicole? I mean, if I don't have to work at Starbucks anymore, sure. Oh, uh, no, you don't have to work at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so People just... say shit to me all the time, and I can't say anything because I you... need a job. Yes, you can say something. <laughs> I'm so, I feel, I'm, I, this all sounds really rough. <laughs> Oppressed. But it's okay. Beaten I, by the I'm corporate fucking <laughs> hammer that have is you... Starbucks. You know, you can only get about seven of those jobs a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know how long it takes me to get fired at fucking Starbucks? Yeah, why don't you go find a nice, quiet place to fuck yourself? <laughs> All right, I'm yeah, Have you ever thought about having sex with yeah. a black man? I have. Uh, have you, what? Have you, have you yeah. done it? You have done it in the year? How'd it go? It was great. It was the best. It was the best one, for sure. Wow. <laughs> <It was the best. laughs> now, wait a minute. Wow. We're going to have a fuck off right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ron White versus Ron I'll, Black. I'll fuck you till you can't make a fist. <laughs> I'll fuck you till you're laying there going, I can't even pick up a pen to write down my fucking phone number. That's a lot so, of talk without Viagra. Oh, <laughs> hey, shit. Nobody said anything fuck about no Viagra. What happened? Was there a reason? Like, did you have a bad date? Or? Uh, I had a couple bad dates, and on those apps, you're just like dodging hookers constantly. So That's what's annoying. wrong with that? Not me. <laughs> open open micers don't have hooker money. It's <laughs> dear God, let her be a hooker. <laughs> oh, plead, Lord. Oh, plead, Lord. Is this Brian? Yes. You know what? I tell you what the whole problem is. <laughs> Yeah, Women it, don't know how good fat guys fuck. They don't. And it's, it, because well, it's I think you're, what happens is I'm fucking you, but my stomach is rubbing your clit. It's the fucking amazing sensation, and chicks don't know that. But you look at him different now, right? You'd rub the fuck out of a clit with that well, gut. With, the, if you're, I mean, I'm telling you, you're, yeah. the secret to it, the secret to fucking a fat man uh, and I know this for a reason, <laughs> is leave the engine on the ground. Don't hoist the 280-pound guy up in the air and expect him to fuck very long. You got to leave that guy on the ground, figure out a way to move on in there. And <laughs> fuck you. Ride it. Leave the engine on the ground. Yeah, do you think leave young the people... on the ground or it ain't going to last long. Do you think I'm fucking on a trampoline? How do you think we're well grounded in some capacity? <laughs> no, some guys are up there. They're able to fucking Joe Rogan you or whatever the fuck he does. <laughs> Drop a fucking few pounds. You can do it. Yeah. And then you'll be getting pussy out the fucking ass. Look at you. You're doing stand-up. Yeah. He's, he's right. You yeah. Who would you fuck him if he lost 20 pounds? Girls. Who would fuck him? Who, Who would fuck him if he lost 20 pounds? A lot of guys want to okay, fuck Okay, let's you. hear 25 pounds. Then we get 30 pounds. Can I get 30 pounds? I hear 35 pounds. Oh, we got 40 pounds right over here. You lose 40 pounds, and this girl's going to fuck you tonight. Or not tonight, but when you lose the 40 pounds. <laughs> Oh. Coolest, coolest auction I'm ever. Saying, what made you go to San Diego? Uh, I, this girl. I was a Hooter cook. That was my first job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I fucking love Hooters wings, man. I fucking love them. I love them. I eat there all the fucking time. I say best road food on the fucking road. You know what you're going to get? You're going to get the wing you want. And by the way, I'm smoking pot because he said it was three people. <laughs> You know, and I that, 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 that five yeah. fucking people. The, the girl in San Diego was a Hooters girl? She was, yeah. Did you give her her Red Wings ever or just her uh, bar <laughs> barbecue and uh, mild and... That's so, a period <laughs> joke for all you idiots out there. It was, all, it was a period and a Hooters joke because he, he's the cook for the Hooters girl. Did you give her her Red Wings yeah, right, right, right. barbecue? Yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, what time do you think we got here? Hooters is a... Uh, Red Wings. Hooters has really good food. I actually like their... Uh, what? 
What the? That's true. I think so too. I, I'm telling you, I, I, I literally, yeah, I crave it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really think Hooters has good food? Yeah. Relationship? Yeah, my girlfriend's right there. Oh, really? Where? Oh, right look at her. Oh, wow. <laughs> white girl. Little, little. Hot white chick in the back. Wow. <laughs> and if you were going to do a you porn thing, I'm just saying I would watch it. I would watch it. I would watch you fuck that girl. I really would love yeah. to. I don't know. I, I, would I don't be know if that's in that. the future. I, th I think I see a fourth wife and a first husband going on right there. All right. What's the weirdest thing about you? Something creepy that you do? Like a weird thing that you do? That you... I take really long shits. Really? Yeah. Now, is the this duration? Huh? Yeah. Is it the duration or the length of the turn? Right. Are we talking about like... First, the, the, like, the like if we measured it from one end to the other, would you get a first down? <laughs> first down. <laughs> oh my God. He doesn't realize he's for those of you not following along, Brian Redband's losing his mind on the soundboard for the last 15 minutes. Right, he, been, he doesn't even know. Thank you, Ron, for feeding him tequila he after his he's, normal he thinks he's flying drinks. a kite. <laughs> but he's not, because... All right, Brian, this is a live oh, show, buddy. Oh, oh. Jesus, he's having oh, his own sorry. little meltdown over there. The stereotype. You know Chipper Jones? <laughs> That's actually our dog's name. Chipper Jones. Our dog's name is Chipper Jones. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Atlanta Braves fan. Are you fucking kidding me? She's a huge Atlanta Braves fan. She has the tattoo of oh, A on no her neck. Oh, shit. And Chipper and Jones, Chipper of course, Jones is our dog's name. They have Hooters wages. <laughs> And uh, this is all coming full circle. It is, yeah. We're starting to learn more about your whole fucking family, dude. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch you fuck. Everybody, <laughs> you're from Atlanta. Let's go. I Great. would hang out with you guys. I really would. There's a special gift for you all. Now performing five minutes in front of all of us. It's the great Ron White. <laughs> That's a lot of fun to do this, Tony. Thanks for putting all this together, buddy. It's a lot of work, and I know that it's a blast for everybody to come see. Thanks for doing that. Uh, this entire panel, everybody up here is just fucking hilarious. And the band could be way better. They could be way better. We could get anybody off the fucking street to replace these fucking lame-ass fucks. Dumb. Don't participate in my fucking show. You sit there, not with that goofy fucking blank stare, but like a young comic that has respect for one of his elders. Perfect. I'm 60 years old and I know two things to be true. One, anything has the uh, potential to become a DUI checkpoint if you crash your car into it. <laughs> And you can't unfuck the babysitter. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. That's what they say. They also say friends don't let friends drive drunk. Well, which one is it? Somebody's got to drive. <laughs> I was leaving a party the other day, and this buddy of mine goes, Hey, Ron, can you drive? I was like, I can drive. I can't get pulled over. <laughs> now, I won't drive drunk, but I will ride with somebody that can't blow a .08 and I know it. Because .08 is not drunk. .08 is a revenue stream for the federal fucking government. what .08 is. That ain't drunk at all. It ain't kind of drunk. This is drunk. That guy can't drive my fucking car. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I've never driven drunk because I've drank so much in my life. Now, on the back of my driver's license, there's a list of organs I need. <laughs> I was in Melbourne, Florida one time. I was driving a rental car, and uh, I'd had two drinks. I didn't make them. I don't know how strong they were. Tasted strong, whiskey and ice cubes. <laughs> and up in front of me, I see a sobriety checkpoint. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I get up there, and the cop goes, Mr. White, I smell alcohol on your breath. I said, that's been there since 77, dude. 
You pour that much scotch on a tongue, it's going to smell like scotch forever. There's nothing you can do about it. We've tried everything that there is. And he said, I need you to blow into this breathalyzer. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. And I'll tell you why, because if that piece of shit's calibrated wrong, I could be convicted of doing something I didn't do. And he said, then I need you to do a field sobriety test. And I'm like, just tell me what you want me to do. He goes, I want you to stand on one foot, raise the other foot, bullshit, fuck that. I'm not doing that either. I'm not, and I'll tell you why. That's not a sobriety test. That's an agility test, and I'm not very goddamn agile. Right? <laughs> I'm not, and it's not fair to me because I'm older. I'm not in that great a shape. I may or may not be a little drunk. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> You know what a fair drunk driving test is? Drunk driving. Get in the car. Let's do a couple blocks. Let me show you some skills. I'm not a 21-year-old puking cheap tequila through his nose. I'm a 60-year-old raging alcoholic, motherfucker. Or that's what it said in the deposition. Here's another fair test. Darts. We go back to O'Leary's Pub where this whole fucking thing started. If you can beat me at darts, you can take me to fucking jail. How about that? Thanks a lot, guys. Benji Flawless. I always look like Steve Bannon in these fucking <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> the, one of the baddest ass motherfuckers in the world, the great Ron White. Fuck yeah. Sporting a nice big bottle of number one tequila. Uh, that's not plugged in for some reason. That's the, the one Josh puts up. The there. number one live pad. <laughs> it's a stunt go, mic. Ron great. motherfucking White, make some noise again. Come on. Thank you, thank you. See? See, it works now. <laughs> it works now. Ron, you've done the show a few times. We're excited to have you back. Is that a blunt? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I would never do anything as un American as smoke dope in public. That's. <laughs> I wouldn't. I swear to God, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. L.A. Speedweed, thanks for the fun. Yeah. What a great green room we have tonight. It's Very powerful. Real green. Indeed. I'm actually getting a dial tone right now in my head. That's all I hear is a dial tone. I usually Thank have Thank you, Speedweed. I've gotten good at like ignoring the impending panic attack that I always feel right before, uh, right after smoking Speedweed. I all of a sudden hate my wife. <laughs> it's just something she did a couple of weeks ago, and now it's bugging the fuck out of me. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get over it. For the best flashbacks in marijuana, go to L.A. Speedweed. Speedweed.com. He's very honest. He wanted a shot with Ron White, and he asked for it. And that is how show business works, ladies and gentlemen. Now you get to do a fucking shot with Ron White. Mom's half black. Dad's what? White. Uh, white. Real white. Blake Griffin? White. You said what? Uh, really white. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you're with Jesus your high school sweetheart. Christ. Yep. What are you? Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> Aww. You gonna marry her, do you think? No. You're gonna fucking hate it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> word, what did she word, do? I mean, I don't Tony. even know her, and I can I, tell you right now. You know, she's a trainer. Hate it. Fuck it's amazing yeah. how many people can't get to 60 seconds. Yeah. Just drop a hot 50 and they drop the hot mic. Four. There it is. 60 <laughs> seconds right then. Give your own hot sauce company. Try it out of my belly button, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh. It actually made Ron laugh. I think it is ha ha hot sauce. It's really fucking good, dude. Thanks, man. Really good flavor. You got a lot of bite to it. Yeah. What size bathtub do you make it in? Uh, toilet, actually. Toilet. Toilet hot sauce. What you, you, how, how many of these are you slinging? What's your. Uh... I mean, I've sold hundreds of bottles. I sell it as my merch after shows. Oh. Literally it's... hundreds. Yeah. I've been selling it for three years. So. Fuck, well, no wonder. You know the Scoville rating on your hot sauce? Uh, the Carolina Reaper, the one that I use, Ooh, is uh, two, two million on the Scoville scale, but I don't use the whole pepper, so it's like a nice, consistent burn. Right. Yeah, yeah the Carolina question. Reaper is un unedible, completely unedible. This is, this is really nice stuff. I'm yeah, going to give thanks. you a full-blown fucking endorsement. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Holla, holla. You can't use my name or anything, but... <laughs> A full-blown endorsement. The new labels will you come out next you week. You met someone who loves it. Thanks, man. I that. appreciate if that. If you'd like to. If you'd like to. With how, how do you feel about Culver City? What are your thoughts? Uh, it's all right, man. There's worse places in this town, for sure. 
All right. Um, I really just don't know what to do anymore. So I think there's something off in the cosmos or something like that. Have we ever not released an episode? <laughs> yeah. Have we ever just I, I done it just did. for the live fun and then, you know, just sort of like pretended like it didn't? I don't think this is that bad an episode, dude. It's, it's <laughs> no, not. You're giving around. up on it a little fucking early. What do you guys think? We're having fun, aren't yeah. we? No, I love it. I'm just fucking around. Were you always doing drugs like in high school or did, like in college? Did you gamble? Yeah, let's act like we never fucking did a bunch of drugs. Yeah, I mean, heroin's Jesus a pretty Christ. big step. You know, oh, crack's a big step. You done heroin, Ron? Be a fucking flash, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, I see you I, snorting it, right? I you didn't do like the needles in between the... I had a hard the... time finding my way. And I also had days that I had no place to stay, so... I, I, I got you. I mean, I pulled out of it a little before I was fucking 43, but... <laughs> I'm a late bloomer, dude. Yeah, you are. I was a virgin until I was like 24. Didn't start beating off until I was 28, like I said. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I almost just passed out for a right? second. Hold on. You <laughs> didn't have sex until you were 24. Even that, that I could even sort of accept. But then you said you didn't jerk off until you were 28? Didn't you realize when you had sex with a girl what you were capable of? Didn't that feeling feel no, good? I didn't really start having sex till like 35. Not even on a Wednesday? Wait, how, did it, how did we just go back 11 years? What just happened? Whoa! What just happened? This has got to make some sense. Tony. I almost asked you to come over to my house and stay for a while, but I didn't. <laughs> At the last minute, I didn't. <laughs> Ever do Don't that. confuse seeing through the game with winning the game. Right. right. Yeah. It's better to burn out than to fade away. That's a line from North Dallas 40. <laughs> True. That's one of my favorite lines. So what about anything else in your career? You're a really good comic. You, you do this all the time. Are you, get, are you getting time other places? Or yeah. Well, it was crazy. On Facebook, uh, it popped up the memories. And a year ago, like yesterday, was when Russell Peters had me open for him after being a guest on here. Not trying to, like, influence you in any way, Ron, but... It was pretty I'll tell cool. you this, last month she did a uh, special guest pop-in at my show at Cobbs in San Francisco, and uh, Jeremiah, you were there for that, Monster Energy Outbreak Tour, Uh huh. Right. and she absolutely fucking annihilated, I mean it was incredible, it was very, it was awesome. Way to put him on the spot times two. Ellie, <laughs> Ellie, do you want to pick no, up those I'm names you dropped? No, I'm not actually putting right. anyone It was on one name spot. I dropped. Anyway. Uh, you know what? Uh, it was, hey, I will talk, and I'll, you know, okay, I'll, give, I'll, you, I'll give you a spot. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be here. I'll, uh, I'll, I would, Wait, I would that it. works, <laughs> right? The hey. band has been here every week. I know, Ryan. Uh, I thought we were friends here, Ryan. Uh, I gave another guy a spot that was on here, and yeah, he, he fucking ate it. He did. Oh, yeah, fuck. I was like, going, oh, what did I do? Yeah. It was like the guy drank a cup of his own warm sperm on fucking stage. <laughs> I love yes. it. Oh, it was ugly. Mm. You got the greatest ass I've ever seen in my mm. life. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to tell you just in general, like that is that means the world to me because I try so fucking hard at the oh, gym. Like, you have no amazing. idea. Aww. As soon as I heard that lesbian thing, I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> Not really. I've never been with the Asian woman. Ooh. Oh. Is that something you'd be interested in? Whoa, Jesus. All right, come on, guys. Christ. Oh no, man, no, see no. that? You're 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 just heckling. This is why Hillary lost, guys. It's just also hecklers. why Bernie lost. They, they, they don't understand the rules. This a little, a little rebellious I've with, lesbians. I've been with Asian women, it's amazing. You said what? I've been with Asian women, it's fucking great. Give it a try. I wouldn't fuck that girl, but I would fuck <laughs> an Asian woman. Wow. wow. Oh, how could you say that? You look exactly like Ron. <laughs> really? He really does. <laughs> Ron has better tits. <laughs> you look like the lead singer for Rascal Flatts. <laughs> the return of one of our favorite guests in the world. It is the great and powerful Ron White. And he will... He is going to be here in just a bit. He's running a bit behind, you know, those southern people and their gosh darn timing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I forgot to, I uh, forgot about daylight savings time or whatever, you know. I'm sure he's going to have a great excuse, something with swagger. It'll be hilarious. We'll all have a good laugh about it. No. Whoa! He's some country what guys. The hell? 
Wow! Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this the blue collar comedy tour? Oh my god. Wow. That is that is hilarious. If you know exactly who we are, you might be redneck. Wow, that is Jeff Foxworthy. Uh, I'm guessing <laughs> Chroma Chris is Jeff Foxworthy. And, uh, the name is Bill, Tony. Oh, you were the fourth one, huh? It's great to be here, <laughs> unlike some of us. <laughs> wait, wait, what's we, the fourth we, one? We've been trying to reach Ron a long time. We can't seem to reach him, but uh, I guess he heard we was coming at night to cancel. <laughs> wow. And then uh, clearly back here we have uh, some type of uh, Bill Goldberg with AIDS or something like that. Or uh, Tony, I'm here to get her done. Oh wow, this is uh, appears to be Larry the Steal Your Cable guy. Uh, wow, Joelberg is full. <laughs> you have to picture Joel just uh, sort of looking like Larry the Cable guy. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the sleeves. Yeah, you really took off your sleeves of one of your probably one of your only shirts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your wedding shirt. Oh, I'm from Iraq. I was just busting oh, okay. the balls. Oh, all right. It's Arabian Nights for those of you wondering what the. Uh, if you think Iraq is antlers on a deer, you might be a redneck. <laughs> if you think the Middle East is Kentucky, you might be a redneck. <laughs> We are live with Ron White and delicious number one tequila. The, the Blue Collar Comedy Tour rides again. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's right. That's Jeff Foxworthy, everybody. Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> Ron, they came out as the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. I didn't get to tell them you were going to be late until very close to the start of the show, and I think right. they wanted to surprise you with it. You see, all your old friends are here. Yeah, I was getting drunk at a friend of mine's house, and I couldn't <laughs> make it over. So, a really rare occurrence. If you've been avoiding my phone calls, you might be Ron White. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't act, I wouldn't be avoiding your phone call. Side Dick Eddie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Am someone, I saying that right? Yeah, like someone on the side never took him serious. Side dick. Like a sidekick, but a side dick. Yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, now, did you take your mother's maiden name? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I actually know Side Dick Eddie. He's very funny. Uh, and uh -huh. I've been telling him he needs to change his name for stage because you can't be at, like, at the funny bone and be like, we got Side Dick Eddie here this, this, this weekend, you know? <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a whole nother problem. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I think the seventh night I went on stage, I sucked dog dicks for dimes up there. Yeah, yeah what do you do? Can you give us an example of like uh, how the, you would bring you, up a girl? We change the grease of the deep fat flyers every third Wednesday, so don't forget to get some chicken wings. I've been to a couple. All right, I got it. <laughs> I Every it. sentence I can think of has the word tits right in the middle of it, so I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and pass. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. But very, very, very funny and great structure and yep. great punchlines. And... <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I was trying to be nice. Structure. That's how you write something, motherfuckers. Structure. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you, Ron. Yeah, okay. I love it. It's right, thank you very much. <laughs> it's all about the structure. Anyway, very, very impressive. Thank all you. Right. And could, yeah. All right, that's it. Yeah. Actually, uh, last time I saw my dad, he told me, my parents are also like insanely religious. My dad told me that he's not going to die. He said that people don't know you don't have to. Wow. <laughs> Great perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Man. Did he go into it? Like, what did he no, say? He, That's he, it? He, he did not elaborate. That was all he said. If we were a little smarter, we wouldn't die. 
Yeah, if you were smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeff. All right, Jeff. You're really milking it. Come on, Foxworthy. <laughs> Easy, Sea Biscuit. Gave me, uh, they gave me dilated in the hospital. I was on oxy. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That yeah. was great, man. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. It's Take like a, a trip to Napa Valley. <laughs> They gave me, uh, I'm little, so they gave me little baby doses. Uh, yeah, baby baby heroin is what I called it. It was yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, Oxy, hydrocodone, uh, oh, muscle relaxers. Fuck yeah. I was on everything. <laughs> <laughs> and something else, Tylenol and um, nah, boo. Benadryl. <laughs> well, it's good to keep in mind that opioid addiction can happen after only five days. Yeah. And the key to that message is... Four days. Got it. Four days. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Four days. I'm Let's go to Thailand now. for four fucking days. Take a day <laughs> off. Right? You can pull through this. Yeah. Fucking look at look at a lot of people. So we uh, we memorialized our friend Brody Stevens in this room on Monday. And I'd just like to tell you guys that, you know, you never know when the last time you see somebody is going to be. And never hesitate to ever say, I'm going to need that money. Dare you. You're right. No, yeah. it's, too soon. it's forty fucking dollars. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Jeff? What's Sorry. going on? There's Can you stop turning his back on me? <laughs> che, Che, take it. There you go. Sorry. Sure. I'm sorry. There. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, so Stand there. it's a, it's a, it's a. Stay just like that. Don't turn your back to Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> sorry, sir. Ever, <laughs> ever. And thank you for your service. Hey. Hey, hey! That's pretty good. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, yeah. Heck yeah! yeah. For forty-eight. Respect, okay. dude. Respect, respect. Jeff Foxworthy, what'd you think about that? How high can you kick, boy? Oh! Uh, seriously, I'm not flexible. The Jeff That's Foxworthy it. wants to have a kickoff with we'll you. Do, let's it's do a kickoff. I'll do a kickoff. All right, kick there you go. High. Try to kick as high as you can. Go on first. Yes, Shay Cargner, everybody. Don't don't hurt yourself, by the way. Ron, you can use Ron's hand. Whoa, that's pretty good. Can you go higher? That was pretty good. I mean, you hit it. You want to go higher? Whoa. <laughs> Wow. For those of you just listening to the podcast, uh, Jeff Foxworthy just kicked Ron White's hand up into the belly room. Uh, that was incredible. My goodness, Jeff Foxworthy. It's weird that he could do that with my career sewed to his coattails. <laughs> well, I guess we found out who's meaner than a fifth grader. <laughs> So can you tell us why where went wrong? Or you? Uh, I, I think it was just mostly bad luck. She had like six or seven surgeries over our. You <laughs> left her because she was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Engel. Yeah, you probably need to find another version of that story, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she had six or seven surgeries, and her titties were kind of sagging, oh. and that maggot. Hey, I'll yo. fucking die, and you left her because Before I have to start sick. rolling her around on a... That's not what happened, but that's hilarious. Right, okay, oh. okay. When you say that's not what happened, what do you mean exactly? Yeah, because that sounds like exactly what <laughs> yeah. happened. Is that it? I got a serious question. Oh, wow. Uh, Larry, the... Did, uh, you, did you ever secretly wish she would just die? No. What was the no. surgeries on? I still haven't gotten any... That's fucking that. dark, so, dude. That, that ain't Larry the Cable Guy to, comedy. I'm trying to sever ties with Disney. <laughs> so the, the first You're locking it in with Prilosec. Yeah. <laughs> he does do Prilosec. It's kind, of, um, it's kind of obscure. When your wife is I, sick, you must quit. Here's your sign. <laughs> Bill. All right. Blue Billy? collar guys, relax a little bit. <laughs> These guys are out of control, Ron. How oh, yeah, work? we're we're nuts. We're nuts. <laughs> Me and the boys are nuts. You, you can't control us. You can't fucking control us, man. We're the original Blue Collar Comedy Tour, <laughs> and we are fucking proud. We stand up proud and loud, motherfucker. I love it. I love it. You're damn right. You're damn right. So, Che, what was the surgeries on? Uh, the first one was an emergency C-section where she almost died in the hospital. Wow. Having your baby. Okay, yeah, you do. You're, 
These are yeah. horrible fucking stories, dude. Well, there's, there's more to that story, Ron. Okay, all right, the, okay, all right. Yeah. The story is, is that the, the doctors kept trying to give her a drug that was going to cause her to die, and so at one point I was basically in the hospital room <laughs> trying to fight off the doctors to keep them out of the room. So oh, was, yeah, great plan. So you like, kept the doctors out of the room physically? Because they, yeah. were, trying, they were trying to give her medicine oh, yeah. that was going to kill her. That's what they do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what they do. Stop. That's what Man, they do. this is that's just the do. first surgery, by yes, the way. Yeah. Think of this. We have, we yeah. have six more chapters of this amazing, <laughs> right. story to go. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Okay, so, number two. Well, yeah. what do you got? So number two was they messed up one of the stitches, and so they had to go back in and extract a bunch of the um, staples that had gotten inside and infected. There's okay. no fighting on that. Okay, one. let's go. Number, All right, number, doctors are cool. Number three. Yeah. Number three, her ovary burst on Christmas Day. Oh, fuck. Wow. Uh. <laughs> well, number, well, number four was that the doctor, when they were taking out the ovary, they punctured her bladder. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they didn't recognize it. Wow. So, so she almost bled to death. And, yeah. And then they tried Poor to kick her out of the hospital. So then it was me trying to fight the doctors again. Oh, my God. Oh my so it's God. you doing, you're out there doing your martial arts against doctors. <laughs> right. Now entering the octagon. <laughs> Give us one more. Uh, there's only one more. Okay, one more. There's Let's hear it. More. Yeah, what was it? Let's hear her, it. Final one. Her, gall, right. her gallbladder gave out. Fuck, get her. Oh my god. That's it. That that calls out for divorce. Door. That, that's when you All call right. the divorce attorney right there. Yeah. Instead of calling yeah. 911. Uh, call the divorce attorney. You're out. Yeah. It's now. time to move on down the road. And that wow. year and a half was just like she was uh, out of control? Because I, I feel like. No, I mean, she was, she was suffering, and I, you know, I definitely could have been a better husband. <laughs> she no, was suffering. That's real obvious, my friend. My first wife, uh, I left her because she was gay and wouldn't come out of the closet. Oh. And then she married another woman. So I, like, I was like, I can't be the bad You totally guy. nailed it, dude. You, you totally fucking nailed it. You kicked her out for being a lesbian. She married another woman. Right, exactly. I'm going to bump fist with you on that one. The second one, I got to tell you, you look like shit in the story, dude. Yeah. You really look bad. <laughs> you, you do. You look bad in the story. You look bad in the story. How did you know the first wife was a lesbian? How would you know that? She uh, keep like, she trying to eat your pussy or something smelly like Smelly face. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I... Because, oh, these because are your guests, was... dude. You treat your guests like this? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do. do, do. <laughs> sort of reminds me of like a Zach Galifianakis meets a uh, meets a like a windmill out. Yeah. In the all country right. Let's wind. Let's like wind that. it back a little bit, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> drink, <laughs> drink my tequila. That's true. Number Straight one. into heaven. Number one tequila. Yep. Do you mind if I drink a little of? Hey, there Take you a little go. snort off that. Okay. <laughs> you look like you were conceived at one of our tours. <laughs> Ron, what's going on? I don't know, dude. Ron, I, what's going on? What are you smoking? I'm smoking a little bitty cigar. You know, it's part of my fucking... Uh, the reason I can do it is because... It's a part of his act. I can do it if I fucking want to. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> William. But you have to die. Wow. Sang for a punk band? What else? Um, <laughs> video games, I guess. I don't know. It's, I don't know. There was that wasn't a closer? Else. Really, dude? <laughs> I guess so. We're, I thought we were looking for a closer. Why don't we just do that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> 